I'm Jonah Dempsey, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Signpost. Signpost is a community of human design professionals, and I really wanted, uh, with my business partner, Richard Corbett, to create a space for us, for people that are avid students of the human design system, as well as working in this field, um, a place for us to meet, gather, a set of tools we can use, and you know, I, I didn't want it to just be educational. I wanted there to be entertainment. Uh, I wanted there to be support, connection. And it's really, it's really starting to feel that way. It's really starting to come true. I'm a generator, so I'm not here to envision something and make it happen. In fact, m much of my life is spent... Uh, finding success in spite of my ideas, not because of them. It's not about the idea, it's, it's about what we can build together. And I'm just so happy to say that at Signpost we've really built something really special. So, uh, Signpost has... We had over 40 events last month. The events range from business-oriented to... Um, discussions, heart-to-hearts, uh, people bearing their soul and really talking about what it's like to be them and, and live their life. Uh, these entrepreneurial sessions have been have been so wonderful where it's it's been supportive on the business side, but then we've also had deeply personal discussion. We've had educational content. We've learned so much together, but it's not just about education. It's really... I mean, we've done human design trivia, we've done happy hour meet and greets, games, um, watch parties, viewing parties. It's really a place for us to come together and connect. And then on top of that, we're hard at work building a, a bunch of tools. And these can be tools for professionals to use, libraries of assets to draw from, reference materials as well as tools for research, tools you can use to explore different charts, different body graphs, different transits. Uh, we've integrated with body graph charts, so we have, we're pulling from their APIs, but then we've also built, I, I actually personally spent the last two years building out a backend, which I believe is the most precise, down to one second accuracy going all the way back to 1781, and we hope to go further as well. But for now, it's already this momentous task to get one second accuracy of all transit information, all planetary information going back to the beginning of the nine centered being. Um, I've also worked on HDKit, which is the world's only open source human design programming toolkit for over seven years now. So I'm bringing that into signpost and then the work I'm doing on signpost I'm rolling back into that to make it available to others to help further human design globally with a free open source toolkit for others to build their own applications. We have some really special members, really special hosts. We have what is essentially a radio program where there's an audio only component. We also have a lot of Zoom video chat. Uh, those are both nice in different ways. The radio is kind of no pressure. I mean, sometimes you're not in the mood for Zoom. You're not in the mood to connect and, and have that, even with the camera off. But you can just turn on Discord and listen in. So we've had four hours a week of Michael Steenbeck Litvin doing surfing the zeitgeist, looking at what's in the zeitgeist, what's currently going on in the world, having guest speakers on and then we've had four hours a week of Mark Germain doing human design satsang. We also have James Deans now with his weekly, uh, which is Sacred Design Radio, really wonderful radio program, playing music, uh, doing interviews. I know he has an interview with Richard Beaumont. Last week he had Peter Berv. Um, and it's just lovely to, to hear music that's either related to human design, music by Ra, music by 
people in the human design community. Actually, Peter himself is a musician. And also just music that's relevant or, or personally connected. So we have all of this audio content. We have this Discord server where really 24-7 you can jump on and chat with people. Um, and, and we have uh, these scheduled events and then a bunch of tools we're building. And that's just the beginning. I mean, we're, we're really hoping that this is sort of a professional membership where you get all sorts of perks for that membership. You get discount advance tickets to the events we throw, like the High Desert Human Design Conference. You get uh, you know discounts for classes. We're also building up an incredible archive of videos, kind of a Netflix of human design. And so we've built out an interface where you can actually surf videos from the High Desert Human Design Conferences. You can surf videos from myself and Richard and the other hosts, instructors. Um, I've been putting my classes on there. So it's really just kind of a, a place where the goal is once you join, you're kind of part of this group that supports you in your professional development, your personal development, and in your study of human design. So I've put together a few clips. Uh, thank you for watching, and please enjoy these clips to get a feel for what it's like being a part of Signpost. Thank you. <laughs> you want to kind of let go of the structure and the, uh, you know, the parameters that you might put in your life for security, and then you let go. You have to let go of all of that to just live this like flowy life, mm -hmm. and then you can't go back. <laughs> I don't know if it's for all quad rights, but for you, when I focus you mm. at a moment, at the wrong moment, it's a wrong moment. Any moment. <laughs> Any moment. If I bring the focus too narrow, you, you say to me, oh wow, that, you know, that hurts yeah. when you do that. It, it brings me out of one state and just, I'm there. Most of us are out here trying to prove our worth. When you don't believe that you um, deserve to exist, you can also believe the same thing about other people. This, low, this deepest layer of the uh, not-self hierarchy, which is, um, has everything to do with the, you know, the ego center. And then of course, we move into lying to ourselves and avoiding truth and, and, and really confronting ourselves about things and um, you know, feeling this guilt because we're lying. And then kind of like the root center depression and, and fear with the spleen. And, In my early spiritual pursuit, oh, I thought I'm totally fine, I'm at peace. But the world is chaos. The world is in crisis, and I can totally ignore, ignore the crisis, especially for a sixth line. Detachment, yes, but fundamentally, you still have to face the fundamental root of the issue. So the other thing I was going to say here was there's this very strong element of her incarnation cross. Seven, 13, 23, 43. So based on what I, to add to what I just said, there's all this 70% of who she is, is, is here. And this is, and this is her nodes. <laughs> now, just because someone has a nodal configuration that you know, and this opposition actually creates definition. Just either way, just because this is a nodal configuration, it doesn't make this life force any less of a life force. It's still a life force. It's still a, it's still her, her, who she is it's still creating her emotional authority. Still creating basically who she is as an emotional projector. 6124 gets very fixated, super fixated on trying to figure out the answers right now. 
and this is saying this is a process <laughs> so these are the that's your i think that's your biggest dilemma is your mind is going i need to know now I need to structure it right now this is also individual and logical here's indiv- and but here's the other individual and logical part going i'll know when i know i'll take the next step i take the next step drove me so hard you know when i would be in the low end prior to human design i was convinced it was someone else's fault or some problem that i had to go fix and right there at the peak low end i was out there rearranging my life and so this was i still say to this day that this was the if this was the only piece of information i learned from human design it would have changed my life just this uh, information about the solar plexus and the fact that it's my inner authority. Currently, the sun has moved into gate one this week, and today we're in line five. The earth is in gate two. Um, we have Mercury in gate 14, Mars in gate 43, which as we can see over here, those three, the Mercury, Mars, and sun are all very close to each other in the sign of Scorpio. And we are right in the middle of Scorpio, right? There's 30 degrees in each astrological sign and we're at 17 degrees. So we're right in the in the middle of Scorpio season. We also have Jupiter in gate 24, Saturn in gate 55, Uranus in gate 23 and Pluto in gate 60. Okay, so of the 13 activations in the transit today, eight of them are in individual gates. And we can we can see all these ones uh, running right down the middle column here. You know, it forms this square, a T square between gate 50 and gate three. You're listening to Sacred Design Radio on Signpost with your host, James Deans. Tune in. Human design is an extraordinary thing to be able to see the way in which we differentiate from each other. You know, to be able to communicate the essence of what you are, to be able to communicate your truth, to live who you are. Live, 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 live your design. Live your design. Hi everyone, um, I'm Victoria, I'm a 6-2 projector. I have to feel safe for you to maybe leave, right? If you, ha- if you have true sovereignty and independence, maybe, you know, proverbial you, you're in a lover relationship, a business partnership, doesn't matter, friendship, like, they could leave. If you have an individual life force energy like this 214, it simply means your job is to make sure others don't interfere with your direction and that you're going your way, a way that's personally relevant to you and personally important to you. He was like a spiritual martial artist. He's just practicing. doing his kata, yeah. getting ready for the fight. Exactly. You know, he and he didn't know. He, that, but he, he didn't know he was preparing himself to. You're, you're saying like, at a, hey, yeah. you got this resource right there. They, yeah. they got the answer. Hey, look over there. They got the answer. Yeah. yeah. They don't know what to do with a projector. Yeah. The projector doesn't know what to do with the projector because the world doesn't know what to do with the projector. Here's the link nodes, right? Design north, personality south. You see how mine happen to be connected. Not everyone's are actually connected in their definition. And so one of the interesting things is that when there's a disconnect there, it's kind of like this disconnect between mind and body, which I say very loosely because I don't think it's accurate to just summarize the personality as the mind and the design as the body. 
but there is this kind of schism and it manifests as your life kind of breaking apart every now and then and like very um just completely breaking breaking apart and ra talked about you know how these people when 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 they're not when the link nodes aren't connected they don't feel at home on planet earth this is not stuff that like people just getting into design are going to really identify with because they've got so many other things to kind of look at first right so this is just more of an advanced analysis but if you've been in design for a number of years this might be the thing that's starting to show up because that's the way that it works with our conditioning with our trauma it shows up in its own time you don't have to chase after it you just kind of deal with it as it comes up and then when it's done it's done and you move on and the next thing will show up right so there's a time and a place for this looking at Jonah's chart obviously he's a single definition so it's about the centers and obviously we are talking about the top center here so and he has you know this gate has a personal harmonic influencer so he's going to be you know interested in um being in control regardless right but even if that wasn't the case for Jonah this sooner or later would be something that he could find in his experience some sort of a a mental preoccupation with control because it's the gap between the link nodes. What if the gap between the what if the link nodes are both in the same center? So what this person's going to experience is consistent themes right around the uh hope guilt dynamic as well as the survival wanting dynamic you know and let's see here so he's well, he's got like an equal pretty equal distribution there this is the organizational principle of the mind right mm -hmm. everything flows like that mm -hmm. right and it flows here and then up here another thing that ross said is that there is harmony and dissonance even at the tonal level which i distinctly remember when he said that the whole class groans like oh shit a whole other layer to think about this but he said the strongest link is color the strongest link is color so there's not a breakdown because there's a 3 and a 2 here like these are definitely connected and this is significant obviously right because this is the crux of my differentiated self i'm here to learn through conflict and interpersonal dynamics and so on